Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Technology Mafia. Today we are taking a look at a small pancake lens. This one also graciously sent to me by Mikey Mike. You guys know how to pronounce this much better than I do. But this is the 28mm f1.8 pancake lens. So let's check out what comes in the box. This is the box and I am used to these boxes now. They all look very similar. Just white on the outside, a picture of the lens, 28mm f2.8. This is for APS-C sensors, 49mm filter thread, and it's multi-coated. Inside of the box, you get a handy bag. There you are. A microfiber cloth to wipe the lens with, this one in black. Some silica gel. A product warranty card. And the lens itself. And wow, this is very small. And it's also quite light. Alright. So there it is. I'm going to take the rear lens cap off. No electronic connections in the back because it is a manual only lens. Front lens cap is metal, which is always a nice thing when they include a metal lens cap. I like the way that they go on and they stay. All right. So there is the lens front lens element is very small, but you don't need a large one with a 28 millimeter lens. Quite compact. This is about as small as Sony's pancake lenses. Let's see, the aperture ring, this is going to be fun. So the aperture ring is this bottom ring here. Very smooth. There's f2.8 all the way to f22. And the focus ring is on the outside. Also includes measurements for focal distance, 0.25 all the way to infinity. Let's see if we can see the aperture blades, yep. And as I am getting used to these lenses, most of them are declicked, as is the case here. So Great options for video if you are okay with shooting manual focus and manual aperture. So let's put this on the camera and see what it looks like. You match up the red dot with the white dot and that is it. So this is much smaller, well I say much smaller, but it's noticeably smaller than even the kit lens. So it's very easy to carry around with you. So here's another side angle. No issues, it is on there securely. No wiggles or any noises. It's on pretty securely. So I had a chance to use this little pancake lens over the last two to three days. And here are some of the images that I took using this little lens. Now, disclaimer, I am not a professional photographer and I really didn't spend much time framing these pictures, so if you're not impressed, my apologies. Here you go.
All right, so what is the conclusion with this lens? Uh, I found that it was a little difficult to focus because the focusing ring was so small. I tended to bump the aperture ring on accident. And what really stood out as kind of annoying with this lens was the focusing ring. Let me show you what I mean. From 0.25 all the way to two feet, you can focus using all of that. To focus from two feet out to infinity, this is all you have it's a bit disappointing and I found that focusing out to infinity or objects that are further out was a little bit more difficult than it should have been. As far as sharpness, I think that the lens does okay. It's not amazingly sharp. It really doesn't do anything spectacularly well. At night, the f2.8 isn't that great for night photography. Unfortunately, there were a couple of situations where I was out, sun was setting, and I wish I really had an f1.8 or an f1.7. So if you are looking at a 28 millimeter prime manual focus lens, I would say take the jump and purchase the 35 millimeter newer f1.7 lens. I think that that is an easier lens to use, a better lens for night photography, better for portraits, basically better in every way except for form factor. Uh, so that's just my recommendation. I mean, it's not a horrible lens. It's better than the $30 lens that I just tested recently. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know down below what you think about this lens, what you think about the sample images. If you have any questions, be sure to post them down below. If you are interested in checking out the specifications for this lens, I will post the link down to Amazon below so you can check that out. Stay tuned for future videos and thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.